Hey there everyone, I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team. I hope you've enjoyed your weekend. It's been beautiful weather-wise, a bit hotter today with more moisture in place. It's definitely felt hotter, but overall it's been nice. Just some coastal showers and a few brief storms, mainly earlier today. In the tropics, things remain quiet. Next seven days, shouldn't see any tropical activity, of course, of all the latest on air and on WKRG.com on the tropics. Satellite and radar right now shows some scattered cloud cover right along the coastline. Just a few brief showers west of Jackson County and Harrison County. These are north of I-10 and Gulfport and Biloxi. But other than that, things are really, really quiet. Beautiful view down the Mobile River from our roof doctor's camera. Feels like 95 though, so definitely feels hotter into this evening. Orange Beach sweat tires camera. Nice view at the immediate coast. Hope lots of folks have been able to enjoy the beautiful beach weather this weekend. That rip current risk has been dropping into today. Now, current temperatures are still quite warm, mid-90s across many spots, 94 Mobile, Bruton, Evergreen, Chatham, upper 80s and low 90s at the immediate coastline, 88 in Gulf Shores, 91 at Fort Walton Beach, and 92 degrees in Loosedale, Mississippi. This evening, mostly clear skies, maybe a brief shower at the coast, but I really think most places will stay quiet. We have 82 degrees by 9 p.m. with overnight lows really close to average, upper 60s, low 70s in our northern spots low to mid 70s along I-10, then mid to upper 70s at the immediate coastline, and only a brief shower or storm possible in the overnight hours. And we'll keep rain chances lower overnight as uh, into tomorrow as well, 20% chance. You need the green and Phillips umbrella. Here's how it looks on the News 5 predictor. So overnight, again, a brief shower possible, but most everyone will stay dry, mostly clear skies as well. Now, by the time we get the afternoon tomorrow, again, this is the morning, so around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, things are quiet, mostly clear skies, northeast winds as well. But then once the sea breeze starts to push inland into the afternoon, that's when we'll see some isolated showers and a few storms pop up. I really think most places north of I-10 will stay quiet, but our coastal spots have the best chance of seeing those isolated showers and a few storms. So tomorrow, mainly just partly cloudy skies by the afternoon, but again, a couple places could see some showers and a few storms. Mostly clear skies in the morning, though, 75 by 5 a.m., then temperatures pushing into the mid-90s by the afternoon. Rain chances will overall stay isolated throughout this week. I think by the end of the work week, when we get a bit more moisture, those rain chances will start to bump up, but again, not widespread showers and storms, just a bit bigger of a coverage by the end of the work week. Beach and boating forecast, northeast winds turning east, 5 to 15 knots, 2 feet seas, and we'll keep a low risk for occurrence over the next few days with temperatures right around 90 degrees at our local beaches. So the next seven days, nothing too out of the ordinary. Our typical summertime pattern with isolated showers and storms with the sea breeze, an upper level ridge will move in so that'll keep things a bit hotter throughout this week and with more moisture, it will feel a bit hotter. So we could still have some heat advisories this week if we have those moisture levels bumping up to the, you know, the 70s for our dew points, especially by Thursday and Friday. But overall, nothing too out of the ordinary. Mid-70s in the overnight hours, so staying close to average with highs in the mid-90s. It should be a great start to the work week, only a 20% chance of an isolated shower or storm. Again, I hope you have a wonderful week. should be a great rest of the evening. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And I'll only have some isolated showers and storms throughout the work week.